All right, so I told you guys I would show you how to add a transpose knob to this project. And this is going to be a very simple process. So we'll add a new knob and we're going to add it to our stream of pitch values coming out of our MIDI macro here. And from there, we can run the output directly into our MIDI out module. Now I'm going to give this knob a default value of zero because generally we don't want to be transposing. And I'm going to give it a step size of 1, because we want to increase by one semitone at a time. And I'll give it a maximum value of 11. So this allows you to take a chord sequence. In this instance, I have all of the chords that are a part of the C major scale programmed in. And if I wanted to turn this into a D major, for example, all I would have to do is shift the whole thing up by two semitones, so I would set the transpose knob to two. Now I considered adding an arpeggiator to this project, but the reality is that we can simply take the MIDI output of the chord generator and run it into another arpeggiator. Um, for instance, my upload to the Reactor user library, Simple ARP, will work perfectly for this. And then any received chord value will be automatically turned into an arpeggio. All right, so that concludes our series on building chord generators in Reactor. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, this is Salamander Anagram.